Hi, this is Neil Town Dynasty. Please like, share, and subscribe. Buy some silver and some platinum. And uh, be kind, helpful, and grateful because it's so much better than being a jerk. Yesterday, or the day before yesterday, I did a video on uh, Russia doing a quick, fast renegotiating deal, something they had with Egypt. And by 2026, they're now, Egypt's going to have a, or 2025, or 20, yeah, 2025, I think. Egypt's going to have a nuclear power plant provided by Russia. Now, this report is about Burkina, Burkina Fasco. Uh, and I have mentioned in that video this as well, but this is corresponding report to the other day's report. Of Bur Bur Burkina Fasco has just signed a deal with Russia to build a nuclear power plant. So two nuclear power plants in Africa, one in Egypt in the northeast, one in the central west area, and uh, then you got the Gerd Dam in uh, Ethiopia, the central east. So it looks like they're getting powered up, no pun intended, electric-wise, electric, electric wise, energy wise. When that tends to happen to a continent, uh, look at America. I think there was an industrial revolution where we had a, a, a lot of power supply. So, oh, and also look at uh, people talking about, uh, oh, power's a problem, power's a problem. Uh, I'm thinking probably by 2030, energy is going to be about 25% cheaper because of all these, these places that are creating power. But anyhow, here's to the story uh, of... Uh, Burkina Fasco and Russia, and some some corresponding or collaborating information on uh, the UN actually sponsoring uh, bad people instead of getting rid of them, which caused all of these issues in the first place. But anyhow, now we'll get to the report and I'll quit running my little mouth. Here you go. Here it is for you. 2023. Burkina Faso's junta decided to sever all ties with its former colonial master France, culminating in the expulsion of French troops and closure of their military base. This bold move followed years of frustration with France's perceived ineffectiveness in current Islamist insurgencies and lingering resentment over colonial legacies. The decision fueled rumors that Burkina Faso, like other former French colonies, was shifting its geopolitical alliances towards Russia. This speculation has now materialized into reality as Burkina Faso has officially established new diplomatic relations with Russia, marking a significant geopolitical shift in the region. The Kremlin, eager to expand its African footprint and exploit Western anxieties, has reopened its embassy in Ouagadougou after a 31-year hiatus. Official visits and interactions between Burkina Bay and Russian officials have also increased in recent times, and several deals have been inked, including a nuclear power plant cooperation agreement that hints at ambitions beyond immediate security concerns. And now, in a crucial move, Russia has officially deployed its first significant batch of troops to Burkina Faso. Who are these troops, and what are they going to do in Burkina Faso? Also, what does their deployment mean for France and the rest of the Western world? There's a lot to learn about your case. January 24th, 2024, a contingent of Russian military personnel landed in Burkina Faso's capital, Ouagadougou, in what seemed to be Russia's first large deployment to the West African country. Two foreign security sources disclose the junta-led country's connections with Moscow have been in the focus since it kicked out French troops in early 2023, fueling suspicion that it will strengthen security ties with Russia, similar to neighboring Mali, where Russian Wagner mercenaries operate. Foreign sources in Ouagadougou did not have more specifics about the apparent deployment. However, the African Corps channel on the Telegram messaging app, which claims affiliation with Russia's defense ministry, disclosed that the contingent that landed in Ouagadougou was 100 strong, the initial batch of a 300-member force that will eventually deploy to Burkina Faso. The Africa Corps is a newly formed Russian military organization that has taken over activities from the paramilitary organization Wagner. Operating directly under the command of the Ministry of Defense, the Africa Corps symbolizes Russia's fresh approach to its military presence in Africa.
It seeks to distinguish itself from the Wagner brand, whose founder, Eugenie Prigozhin, died in August 2023 during an aborted insurrection against the Kremlin. Unlike the Wagner Group, which operated with significant autonomy and a degree of deniability for the Kremlin, the Africa Corps falls directly under the command of the Russian Ministry of Defense. This ship signifies a more formal and transparent approach by Russia, aiming to shed the Wagner Group's association with alleged human rights abuses and murky financial dealings. The Africa Corps disclosed in their Telegram channel that their presence in Burkina Faso is necessary to ensure the security of Captain Ibrahim Traoré, the Burkina Bay transitional president and leader of the September 30, 2022 coup, and the Burkina Bay people. The Africa Initiative, a media outlet close to the Kremlin, posted images of the troops, weapons, and military aircraft arriving in Ouagadougou on its Telegram channel. The outlet also disclosed that these military experts will also train Burkina Bay troops and conduct patrols in high-risk zones. The deployment of these Africa Corps troops to Burkina Faso is quite significant, especially since it follows France's ousting from Burkina Faso. It must be recalled that the Burkina Faso Junta, led by Captain Ebrahim Traore, did everything in its power to sever ties with Paris and kick France out. Burkina Faso's junta executed a multi-pronged strategy to expel France and dismantle their entrenched presence. Firstly, diplomatic channels were weaponized. Public pronouncements denounced France's perceived ineffectiveness in combating insurgencies and accused them of economic exploitation. Burkina Faso withdrew from joint military operations and agreements, signaling a clear intent to go alone. On the ground, Symbolic but potent actions reinforced the message. French military bases were declared persona non grata, forcing their closure and troop withdrawal. Public displays of pro-Russian sentiment, rallies, and flag-waving contrasted starkly with past pro-France demonstrations, showcasing a shift in allegiance. Information warfare played its part, too. Various French media outlets were kicked out and local media amplified criticisms of France and circulated narratives favorable to Russia, further shaping public opinion. Finally, legal maneuvers cemented the decision. Bilateral agreements with France were revoked, severing economic and military ties. Burkina Faso actively sought new partnerships, particularly with Russia, further isolating France. This calculated, multifaceted approach culminated in a complete severing of ties, leaving France and the West scrambling to understand the new geopolitical landscape in Burkina Faso. And that is why I have a geopolitical and platinum channel, because as I've said before, new treaties and trade agreements Mm. are going to be shaping the future of economies around the world, and that's where you make money. Uh, With what I said at the beginning of this video, with uh, so many nuclear power plants and world largest dams being put up in Africa. Oh, yeah, there's also, I need to check into it. I think South Africa might be getting a power plant too, a nuclear power plant they're working on. But uh, we'll find out about that a little bit later as I get more information. But uh, Central and Northern Africa are really being built up as uh, energy producers and distributors to the African continent. So I'd say within the next five years, they're going to have, uh, they'll be in the, in the middle of a industrial revolution, like what we had here, it, late 1800-ish time period. It's going to happen over there. So that's exciting times as far as for economic advancement and investment. I'm not a financial advisor. Nothing I say should ever be taken as financial advice. Do your own due diligence and research. And uh, like, share, and subscribe. Be kind, helpful, grateful. And uh, even though it's not financial advice, <laughs> platinum is the best play you can make because people aren't talking about it and there's a lot fixing to happen. You guys have a great year. Bye.